Welcome viewers, Alan Weisselberg, the Trump Organization's finance chief, will say in Manhattan court Thursday that he conspired with several of the ex-president's company, s when he pleads guilty to state tax crimes, two sources familiar with the case tell Rolling Tone, as part of Weisselberg's plea deal, he has agreed to testify against the Trump Corporation and the Trump Payroll Corporation at trial, which is scheduled for October, before we proceed if you are new to my channel, Please take a minute of your precious time to hit the subscribe button below and turn on the not i vacation bell to get the latest updates from us. If called to the witness stand during trial, Weisselberg will provide testimony that is the same as what he admits to in court this week. The source said one of the sources said that while Weisselberg is agreeing to testify, that does not mean he necessarily will. It depends on whether prosecutors decide to call him. The New York Times first reported that Weiss, Elberg was expected to plead guilty, and CNN reported he would testify if called. Weisselberg will not go beyond his testimony to help the criminal probe, one of the sources said Till. His potential testimony could pose a severe threat to Trump's companies. This possible testimony, which allegedly implicates Trump's businesses, could be key to prosecutors securing a guilty verdict against these companies when a company is found to have engaged in criminal conduct. Significant fines can pile up quickly, potentially leading to its demise. Weisselberg's expected guilty plea stems from an indictment last year from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, accusing him and several of Trump's companies of tax crimes in a sweeping and audacious illegal PA, Wymet scheme. These financial offenses related to the lavish perks that came with being CFOO, F. Donald Trump's real estate empire. The Trump Organization has maintained its not guilty plea, so his namesake business and several related entities, remain under indictment, darting in, too, Weisselberg, a Trump family employee of some five decades, lived gratis in an apartment on Manhattan's Riverside Boulevard The Trump Corporation, which leased the apartment, was covering his rent, along with Weisselberg's utilities and parking fees, the indictment charged the Trump Organization also allegedly made sure his longtime money man rode, in style, from 2 to 27, the ex. President's company paid the leases on two Mercedes-Benzes that Weisselberg and his wife us, Ed as their personal cars, Trump's company gave Weisselberg cash around Christmas time so he could LD pay personal holiday gratuities, prosecutors alleged, Weisselberg's family was also well taken care of, prosecutors said the company covered Weisselberg's personal expenses for his homes and for an app, Artman maintained by one of his children, according to the indictment among these requests were items such as new beds, flat, screen televisions, the installation of carpeting, and furniture for Weisselberg's home in Florida Weisselberg's grandchildren benefited from T, his arrangement, too, with the Trump Corporation footing the bill for private school tuition, for the charging papers, prosecutors alleged that Weisselberg didn't declare these benefits, on his taxes, meaning he purportedly received $7 million in unlawful payments, what is your take on this Matt, R, please tell us in the comments and remember to subscribe as well thanks for watching.